is there, why have there, there been so many refusals to put up story polls? I think story polls are extremely important to show people how big this facility, or how small this facility is. Why is everyone refusing to put up story polls? The answers are no, 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 no. Why? What's wrong with story polls? Wouldn't one of the story polls be definitely in the middle of the path? I'm sorry, what did you say? Would Excuse me. I have a hearing problem. I know, but the way, the way you're really asking is disrespectful. I can very easily speak louder if you ask me in a respectful way. Uh, I believe that one of the poles would be in the middle of the walkway, wouldn't it? Because when you look at it, how... You would be putting a pole here, right? You would be putting a pole here, and isn't it where the path currently leads? So if you would like to have poles in the middle of the path, I don't know if you do. We could do that. Why? Would that be amenable to you guys? To put up story poles for a week? How about for one week? I, 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 I think that they should go out again. My best shot. Um, <laughs> The, uh, you know, one, one of the significant things here, given that this has been talked about and it has been part of a long process that has looked at other uh, locations, other ideas, other types of buildings, um, is that to a, to a large degree, uh, we are, the district is confined to this site location and for reasons of usability of the space, it's confined to, have to having to have certain height uh, minimums. So, you know, to that end, what's been done so far in terms of looking at this uh, and, and looking at how low could the roof go and where could the footprint go, has been something that's just has been backed into that that notion or that that example or that uh, you know that design. Um, I have believed that to put story poles there would be misleading in that you've got the existing building still there and it would be very uh, misleading just to, to pretend as if this is, you couldn't even stand back far enough to be able to see the story pole in, for example, this corner relative to what happens when this building is gone. So it, it's to me the, the usefulness of doing story poles. Story poles usually are, are done when you have a situation where a condition exists, there's nothing there, and you're going to you know, put up something to show that it's a blocked view or that it's a significant height change. You know, in, in this case, uh, that that is not typically why you would go to the extra extent of putting up story poles. So. Why can't you just uh, put story poles so. up at the edges of the building? We can all figure out where the courtyard is. Well, uh, courtyard first of all, the just so you know, and I, I've stood out there on the site with, with some residents, um, the height of the, the back of the building is actually at the same location and lower slightly than the existing trailer. So you don't need a story pole to see where this end is because it actually exists uh, in, in reality. Um, so so your answer is because they're misleading? Um, Why can't we do it? I, I see the point. I see, I, I mean, I see the point how it's, you know, when you put a story pole now with the, the other buildings still present, uh, it, it doesn't really reflect what the new building would look like in the new setting. Um, let's, I, I don't know. Um, story polls, okay, out there. Uh, let's, let's